What's up, y'all? It's Wednesday night. Um, my first update of the week because I've just been like hitting the books, uh, like on the distribution side with Amazon and everything like that, super duper hard. And um, it's been going super duper well. I fell into this situation. I guess I didn't fall into it. I kind of like made the situation where like. I went to a local thrift shop and I started talking to this guy who was doing like a school outreach program and then I got to know the owner and then the owner was like, yo, if you want to come in the back, like we have volunteers and like you can go through all the books and so like I organized all the books for them and um, picked the ones out that I wanted to buy and it was a super good deal and they charged like really good price for all the books so it was like a gold mine over the last two days i probably got over 300 pounds worth of books for 110 bucks um so that is dope um and i also busted out the sewing machine uh, on the design side, I haven't really done that much in designing and stuff like that, but I did a little bit. So this weekend, I made this, which is like the first iteration, like the beginning of the first iteration of the magnetic wristlet idea I have. The other one that I made is pretty much just the red Velcro um, that I use in my boxes with like a square neodymium magnet just stuck onto it and it actually like works pretty well but it kind of like isn't nice on your skin and stuff like that so this is a faux suede that i bought at joanne fabrics and as you can see it has some janky noob stitching on it um i'll get better at it but uh it's not too bad so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to have it like that and I gotta cut it down to size. And then I'll sew some Velcro into it and also sew magnets all into it here, like all along the top. Um, so I can just have the phone on my wrist and it makes things super duper easy. And hopefully these magnets hold, otherwise I gotta get some bigger magnets. Um, but I'm really happy with the faux suede it uh it's really nice to the touch it's much better than like the, the plastic backing on the velcro that i have right now um and this will also work better i think and um i'll be able to like easily put it under a long sleeve and all around better um if it works out really well which i'm hoping not hoping i'm going to keep working on it until it works like super duper well um if anybody else wants one in the bookseller community um i'll probably give some of them away and stuff like that but yeah kind of light light on the design side um because the book stuff is going pretty well and i'm just like really trying to establish myself um because i want to be able to do my design work without having to depend on any kind of money from it um, because that, I think that that will give me the total freedom to do what I want and just create um, instead of having to worry about money and stuff like that so that's pretty much it um, just came out to spend some time with foe and say what up to y'all Oh, she's so cute. Oh, by the way, just fun, uh, funny, funny story. Um, yesterday at like 4 a.m., she definitely murdered something in the ceiling. Uh, probably a mouse or something like that. But we woke up to, uh, rodent murder. Which was sad, kind of, but I own cats, or I've 
like lived with cats my whole life so like they're beasts um and she definitely likes to hunt and i don't mind her keeping the rodents out of where they're not supposed to be so that was kind of interesting um definitely haven't been woken up by rodent murder before but um thank you foe and peace y'all